Guardians, Privileged Ones, hello and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny episode. Now, Destiny 2 video of Xur's Location Inventory Review. Xur's Location is obvious, it's going to be on Earth and he's just right over there. But, really quick, the emblem on the screen, I'm giving away this week. If you want to win that emblem, all you have to do is be subscribed, share support, like the video, and leave a comment down below. And seriously guys, leave comments, and if you enjoy the video or dislike the video, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You have no idea how much all of that helps your content creators. So if you want all of your content creators to keep uploading content, show your support, show your gratitude. Thank you so much for the support, and let's get into this video. Really quick, I wanted to go over the fact that uh, my new computer is on its way. And uh, yeah, so my news videos, my new style of news videos, take a little longer to render on the computer that I have currently. And I've been waiting for about a month now for a new computer to show up. And I can't wait to get that new computer. And I can't wait for all the new awesome content to the channel. I'm just letting you guys know, video uploads as of right now is just taking so long with the computer that I'm currently using. Now, for Xur's location, you're going to want to go to Winding Cove in the EDZ. And once you've teleported there, you're just going to want to follow your way up this hill. Come over here. Shoot the shank. Maybe shoot the other shank. Kill the captain. Because this guy will get in your way. And I like to jump up here. You don't have to. Like, seriously. You really don't have to. And I just come right over here. And hey, sir, what do you have for us tonight? I haven't actually checked his inventory yet before this video, so bear with me. Uh, okay. Uh, not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. Okay, so. um, He's got Sweet Business. He's got the Lucky Raspberry. He's got the Synthoseps. And he's got the Skull of Dire Ahimkara. Now, the Skull of Dire Ahimkara... I don't really feel it's that important as it used to be. And what I mean by as it used to be is Destiny 1 over to Destiny 2. Actual Grandeur is provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb. Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. And yes, that sounds great and all, but the Skull of Dire Ahimkara basically took the major perk from Destiny 1 and then combine the Obsidian Mind Helmet from Destiny 1 together. And that's what the Skull of Dire Ahimkara is now. But the, bo both those perks together, I feel, isn't exotic enough when it comes to Destiny 2. So you don't really need to get this helmet for any of you Warlocks out there. For the Synthoseps, increased melee lunge range, improved melee damage when surrounded. This is great for Trials of the Nine or if you're inside the raid and you have a ton of enemies surrounding you, it's good for that quick melee damage. So I would actually recommend getting this. I know a lot of Titans run this in the Crucible, and honestly, it is a great exotic, so definitely would opt in for that. Now we've got Lucky Raspberry. Increase the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenades and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. And by recharge means the entire thing gives you a second grenade which is incredible and honestly if that procs and you get your double grenade you don't have to throw your double grenade right away you can actually hold on to that and once the ability wears off for probability matrix you can then throw it and possibly get another one back that way you can get your grenades back faster throughout crucible raid strikes nightfalls whatever you're doing these are actually a pretty decent exotic as well now, Sweet Business. Sweet Business is a little bit of a hit or miss on some people. Some people hate it, some people love it. Me, preferably, I hate it. It has a really slow charge up time for its maximum damage output, and I just feel like it's not the best exotic to use compared to other exotic weapons that are out there that you can get your hands on. Uh, one of those, preferably, is the Mita Multi-Tool, but um, that's probably saying for most people. And yes, Mita Multi-Tool takes up the primary slot, so 
I kind of need my primary slot for sweet business. So what would I choose? Mighty multi-tool or sweet business? I'd hands down go with the Mighty multi-tool and that's the reason why I'm not really recommending the sweet business. Is it a fun exotic? Absolutely. Give it a chance if you've never had it or if you want to complete your exotic collection, definitely buy it. Again, all the exotics from Xur are really cheap, so why not buy them in the first place? Also, Sweet Business has a large magazine and it has increased hip fire accuracy, which is also great because it's an auto rifle that is basically acting like a uh, SMG or a, well, an, actually a heavy machine gun. It's a heavy machine gun in your primary slot. It's pretty interesting. It's the only heavy machine gun in the game but again, it's an auto rifle. There you have it, Guardians. I hope you all enjoyed this video. That's Zer's location inventory review. I will keep you guys up to date. I'm going to be releasing a news video on Destiny and the Curse of Osiris expansion. And also, I'm going to be releasing a video very soon detailing all the changes that Destiny is going to be receiving come January, come December 5th, December 12th, and all of that glorious stuff. So... Stay tuned for that video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Also, if you disliked, leave a thumbs down. Leave some comments down below in the comment section and let me know why you liked or disliked the video. And if you're new and you also enjoyed the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. Check out the merch store for awesome merch that we've created ourselves. And as always, stay violent and be privileged. Oh, hi. DPG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe for more content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.